Bontoni is, uh, um, of course, we are a very small company. We are just uh, uh, seven people with me, eight. So uh, it's a family business. We are, I'm in the third generation. And I think that uh, this kind of uh, uh, passion and family approach, we reflect in our shoes. So every shoe is a, it's a an handmade shoe, completely stitched by hand, painted by hand. So each shoe is like a pain, and uh, I would say that uh, um, it's a, a mix of a, a classical shoe, but at the same time with a, a very uh, sophisticated and uh, in some way younger touch. And uh, so you can see immediately when you see a Bontoni shoe, you recognize uh, the work behind the product. I was uh, very lucky because uh, I was born in a really shoe family. So I was used to spend, when I was a child, uh, uh, a lot of time in the, the laboratory with my father, my uncle. So all this uh, experience now I'm uh, uh, rediscovering. So this is part of my inspiration. On the other side, uh, we have the, the chance to work together, me and my father. So you have to imagine that uh, with my experience and all the feedback from customers and also the experience from my father. So it's really a teamwork. Every shoe I think is the result of this. Uh, it's funny because uh, uh, I could say that my father is uh, a little bit more the avant-garde uh, taste. I'm a little bit more conservative. So it's a, it's a nice compromise every time we fight together to when we create a new style. But it's uh, funny because uh, you know, I have the contact with the, with the customers. So I know that some customers of Bontoni are a little bit conservative. So sometimes to say to my father, keep calm because we have to also to sell shoes. And it's funny to work together to um, uh, share the ideas. Uh, and it's a great job, I think. We are um, small, but I think we are very smart uh, every season to propose something new, interesting and uh, creative. I have the chance to meet a lot of Bontoni customers. I could say that uh, the, the profile of a Bontoni customer is a person who uh, had the chance to travel a lot of, to see different things with a high consciousness of uh, quality of life, very high culture, and also is very tasteful and uh, curious about uh, uh, the beautiful things of life. I have to say that uh, when uh, uh, I meet Bontoni customers, they are very detailed and curious people. So they want to know how the shoe is made. They immediately recognize the special things of uh, uh, an idea and detail. So um, a Bontoni customer is a, is a man who uh, is very sophisticated. He is able to combine sometimes a very formal suite with a, a shoe that is less formal and uh, is able to combine different kinds of, uh, of clothing. For instance, I can wear on Saturday on Sunday a beautiful uh, flanella pants with a uh, our Norwegian uh, shoe, a little bit more sporty, and also is very uh, quality conscious. So it's not brand driven, is able to recognize the quality of our product. Of course, is can spend more for this quality. And uh, little by little is uh, uh, able to recognize in what Bonton is different from other brands. Usually for making one pair of Montoni, it takes uh, from uh, uh, three, four months. And of course for a bespoke shoes, it takes longer because we have to make uh, the appropriate wooden last for the customer. 
that means that um, uh, when we prepare the leather and the upper, we put the upper on the last and uh, we take the upper on the last for uh, nine weeks. During these nine weeks, uh, we color the shoe, we make the stitch by hand, but it's important that uh, the, the upper rests on the last because uh, the leather has to take the shape of the last in a appropriate way. So it's the reason why it takes so long. And uh, so when customer at the beginning, when we told them it takes three, four months and six uh, months even more for a bespoke shoe, at the beginning they were a little bit scared because you know it's not easy to understand why it takes so long. Uh, but uh, after the first experience and if, when we have the chance to explain and some time to show to customers how we work in the laboratory, um, they understand the quality. And uh, it's so important sometimes customers come to us to see how we work. Because after that experience, they 100% understand the process behind the product and the love we put in the product. So when we say five months, four months, this is not the matter. They want to have just the best shoe and the perfect shoe. When uh, my father and my uncle uh, made shoes, they were focused on uh, uh, just on bespoke shoes. So 16 years ago, I would like to try to sell through retailers. And uh, we set to try to realize our dream that was to be just in the best stores in the world. This was a pretty simple dream. It was a dream 16 years ago. I can say that uh, now it's getting reality. Now we are, I could say, in the, the 20 stores in the world. For me, they are the best ones in the world. Of course, we have a very uh, production capacity. So since we make just seven pairs a day, we have to be very uh, focused on the quality of our partner. And uh, I think that Sana Ant reflects 100% uh, our dream to be to be in the the best store in Ukraine, not only in Ukraine, and to work with the people who understand the, the product, to have the same passion we have for the product, and mostly they can transfer all the information, all the details to customers. This is a, so crucial for us because we don't. Uh, are a big brand, we are just a small company, so we can, do, we can make the most beautiful shoes in the world, but without a very good partner in retailing, we cannot reach in the right way our customers. And I think from the experience I had in the last years, and also the chance to meet the team, the people today, I think that uh, uh, Sanuant reflect perfectly uh, our original dream. And uh, now I would like to uh, show you something that is very special in my opinion for uh, the next season. So first of all, I would like to show you a very beautiful, formal, elegant dress shoe that is completely uh, one piece of leather and the special thing of this shoe is the craftsmanship uh, with this kind of reverse stitching that is so difficult to make that make the shoe so special and unique. Look at uh, this kind of uh, wind tip made with the reverse stitching. It's something that uh, makes the shoe so special at the same time it's so clean and uh, it's a perfect shoe for uh, a dressing formal event. On the other side I would like to show you for me strong and new for the season. We uh, presented uh, this shoe that is available at Sanant. It's a, the idea, it's a, a, a formal design, classical design. It's a, a Oxford wind tip with perforation. The bison leather is a new comps that we introduced uh, for this season that is a leather always handmade painted 
with the techniques of Bontoni, but uh, uh, with a much more uh, uh, character. As you can see here, the grain, the irregularity of, of the leather make the shoe so special. It's, so it's a perfect shoe for, uh, um, for the weekend, for uh, again something more uh, sporty, uh, with, uh, more, uh, for uh, casual events, and also with the rubber sole. So it's a perfect shoe that uh, uh, I would say it's uh, really reflect the Bontoni soul, but uh, it's uh, another uh, word compared to the uh, formal one. And last but not least, I would like to uh, recommend a, a monk strap. We have two lace up here. This is a beautiful uh, new monk strap with a special design here, with this kind of line, with a special curve, and with a uh, capital um, stitch by hand. So, a um, classical design for a monk strap with the different uh, details the cap toe stitched by hand, the line of the curve here, and the Norwegian stitching here. So it's uh, make the shoe so, for me, strong, so powerful, and don't forget the beauty of the color. It's a dark cognac that makes the shoe when you can wear on a beautiful gray suite like that.